Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jen. <laughs> have you ever done a podcast with Corey Taylor? I have not. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. I hear mm. he's a huge asshole. <laughs> But I happen to love Corey Taylor. I think it's just the hat. It's just the hat. Sometimes a hat can make you an asshole. So. So. Other than talking shit about Corey Taylor bonjour. and this guy. <laughs> what are we actually here to do? We're here to talk about the golden goose. The golden goose. Are we going to make any like laying a bad egg jokes or no? Do they do that? I don't know. We're going to leave the bad jokes I, to Corey Taylor. You should. That's, that's the way to go. All Are right. you ready? So welcome, everyone. Welcome. Uncorked and, and on tap. And on the plate. So, Jesse. So, Jen. Before we start, I just want to give a little tiny background of why we're doing this. I'm sure that living in Sedona, or right outside of Sedona, you probably don't Google Sedona restaurants too often. I almost <laughs> never. never. <laughs> right? Almost okay. never. Okay, fair. But I don't know if you know this, but if you Google Sedona restaurants, this particular restaurant that we went to is like top of every single article. Oh. And yeah, like list of best restaurants. This comes up as like a place you have to go in Sedona. All right. So that's how we decided, well, we have to go there then. Because I had never been. Same. Before. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. Living here, we'd never been. We've never heard any locals say, I had the best dinner at this place. You I've, guys got to yeah. go. I've never heard anyone ever say anything about right. this place. But I'm, I'm aware of it because I drive by it a lot, but yeah, yeah never. But it's like a 4.8 on Google. Okay. And uh, maybe 4.4, actually. I might be right. inflating that. Or 4. But it's super popular. So we had to know what was going on there. And did we ever? Did we know? Do we know now? We know. We do. Do we our know. stomachs know now? It did. For a good day or two, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lesson hard learned. It's a hard learned it's lesson. It's a hard learned lesson. <laughs> As per usual, we got there late. Hmm. That's kind of a normal thing. So you got to get a cocktail and kind of sure. talk about the yeah. Vibe. So uh, I got there a little early and uh, it was walked in. Uh, the hostess greeted me right away. Um, she gave me about a 25 minute wait time on a table for three. And uh, actually ended up being about 15 to 20 minutes. She but was very like on sweet. a random Thursday, and sure. it's yeah, pretty yeah. popular. I uh, went to, so I went to the bar to wait, and uh, they looked at the cocktail list. They had a decent cocktail list, some interesting old-fashioned menu. They had a mule menu, mm -hmm. uh, some kind of neat little drinks. I ended up getting what was called the silk sheets, old-fashioned, and uh, which was uh, in a smoked glass. It was really nice. Actually, it was funny. The uh, some of the patrons at the bar were nervous because he was smoking wood chips <laughs> behind the bar for this they drink. It was burning yeah, they're like, "Excuse me, sir, do you know that that is burning right there?" And he was very nice. He he was he dealt with them very well. Uh, but very small bar, very small. Maybe sees eight people. A couple of very small tables. It was very tight in the bar. Yeah. But the cocktail list was okay. Um, it wasn't bad. Um, and the wine list was very small. Uh, and to me pretty uninspired it's a lot they of had basic Arizona wines, right? they had Arizona stronghold they did have one Arizona wine which is nice everything else was just kind of basic uh, California stuff so if that's your thing um, then you'll probably be okay with it I was kind of jealous of your cocktail because I should have gotten it it was nice it was I good. made a mistake I was feeling like sex in the city for some reason like a vibe I got the red rock uh, Cosmo and uh, it was it was a lot of hibiscus. Yeah, it was a hibiscus. Which too much hibiscus can come off soapy. Right, and right. And it came yeah, off pretty yeah. freaking soapy and weird. So I didn't love it either. I it was no, it, it was, was like I was just not. It was fine. It was fine. But, but I think what was I know that my my old fashioned was I think fourteen dollars. Yeah. Yeah, I think mine was fifteen. Yeah, but it was uh, like, you know, it was. Yeah. Uh, it was okay. It was okay. The drinks were okay. The drinks were okay. What did you get, Marat? What'd you get? Flirtini. Oh, you got the flirtini. That's right. Marat got the flirtini. Marat got the flirtini. Because he was feeling also very sex in the city. <laughs> Marat's always feeling pretty sex in the city. Though. <laughs> I don't remember he's, if he's yours was good. I don't think I tried. Shot. I didn't try Marat's so though. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how his was. You'll have to ask him. Yeah. Jen looks weird, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> whoa, whoa, where did you come from? Whoa, whoa, by the magic of Holy TV. How? Whoa. 
So thanks for asking. I had a flirtini. <laughs> it was amazing. It made me feel all flirty and a little girly inside. I get the, like the butterflies. It was, was it amazing? No, it was terrible. Was it, it terrible? It was a bad drink. Oh no, I did try it. Yeah, it was all right. It didn't. It didn't have any. To me, it didn't have any like any real direction. It just seemed like some stuff thrown together to make a, a, a interesting drink. But the flavors didn't come together in a way that made sense. Like there, was, feel, there was no intent behind it. It made me it was feel just dirty inside. Flirty that's, dirty. That's why we got the risotto balls. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's go ahead and talk about really the number one reason for being there. Right. Right. Which was the decor. Sure. Sure. <laughs> uh, the, I thought the decor was all right. It was nice. Yeah, it, it was, was nice. uh, is Southwest style. Yeah. It's like nice a pub restaurant. Clean. Nice. Yeah. Run the, the mill place. You get some grub. Yeah. If you're a grub getter. If that's the sort of thing you're into. <laughs> that's what you're into. You're All right, right. Get, let's right. talk about the food. So here's what we're going to do about the food. Whoever's sitting in one chair is going to read the other person a description of what they ordered. Okay. All right, so we're going to do this right now. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. All right, so the first thing we ordered... Oh, the... Hey. Hi. You've never looked better, Jesse. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so the first thing we ordered... I've been working on my tan. <laughs> oh, yes. And your hair grew... And you lost a weight. <gasps> Unbelievable. <laughs> I love you. Anyway, so now. Yeah. The first thing we ordered was sweet chili pork belly bites. Mm -hmm. Served mm -hmm. with garlic toast. That sounds delicious. Oh my gosh, it does sound yes. delicious, doesn't it? Yes. How was it? Um, not delicious. Oh. What <laughs> went wrong? More. It was definitely deep fried. Yes. If Which I wouldn't have thought. That wouldn't be normally be a bad thing. No, I like a lot of things deep fried, especially yeah. like French fries or things that say fried. Right. This didn't say fried, so it was a little surprising. Uh, it was kind of sweet, very sweet, and very oniony. Mm. I do love when you do barbecue pork belly. I love that. Just saying. But shout um, out Meat Church. So yeah, Meat Church. <laughs> but so maybe I'm just spoiled. But these are just like little deep fried, crunchy, yeah. not great things. And you had... Oh, why don't you describe to me what I had? Let me tell you what you mm -hmm. had. What did I have? You mm -hmm. had... Let me close my eyes so I can remember it again. Fitting with your hat. Mm-hmm. You had the Italian risotto balls. Mm-hmm. That's risotto, mozzarella, mm -hmm. mozzarella, not mozzarella, because I'm from New York, mozzarella and a signature vegetable blend mm. now to be honest with you reading this and mm. i did have a couple of these i i'm not sure what and the signature vegetable blend means mm. in the context of what we ate was that because there was elaborate was that because there was no vegetables on the plate there was like no vegetables involved at all yeah. but maybe you could tell us more about that um so you see this no, no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> so these were little balls and look you know, if this was late night bar food past midnight, I had too many bad decisions when it came to drinking already. Those might have floated okay. That could be like 8.30 well, p.m. for you. That's like, it doesn't even need to. <laughs> All right. Don't tell them our business. How dare you? <laughs> anyway, so I think that that would have been okay. Um, but having that as like as an appetizer to like a whole meal, it was, it was pretty bad. And I could only pray to God that the tomato sauce was out of a can. Because if anybody actually cooked that tomato sauce, it is an insult to the entire country of Italy and, and we are forever should be ashamed and that person should never touch a tomato in their life. Um, I think it's time for me to say, bonjour. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Holy Shinola, Jen, oh. what did you get here? When did I get here? Jesse, you like dropped into my seat. Mm. Weird. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Creep. <laughs> Jesse, I want to talk to you about your entree. Oh, I can't wait. Golden Goose. So I don't know if you remember or not, or you're trying to forget maybe, but you had the meatloaf. Mm. And I want to describe to you oh. what the menu says about the meatloaf. And then you could just tell me how that drives with your sure. actual experience. Sure. If yes. that's cool with you. Of course. All right, so meatloaf, if anybody cares, it was 25 bucks, which I think is not bad for a, a for Sedona, Sedona entree. Sedona, that's, that's pretty, pretty it's expensive. expensive, yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Our own special recipe, can't 
can't argue that. Made with fresh ground Angus beef and other good stuff. Now in retrospect, before you say anything, I'm not sure what any of us were expecting with a, an opener like other good stuff. But why don't you tell me what you were thinking you were going to get and what you got? Well, Jen, the reason that I got the meatloaf is because I heard that a very a sort of semi-famous chef at a, a very popular restaurant in Sedona loved the meatloaf at this place. So I thought, well, let's give that a shot. And I'll tell you that um, I, uh, I didn't like it at all. Uh, you know, I appreciate it, you cutting right to the chase, Jesse. Just, just, just cut not, right to it. Yeah. I will say that it did come with your choice. All the entrees come with your choice of soup or salad. Uh, the soup was, uh, what it was, the poblano chicken poblano soup. Chicken. I didn't actually try that. I got the salad. Salad was nice, fresh, nice spring mix. Uh, blue cheese dressing was nice. Salad was nice. Uh, the meatloaf, which I got with broccoli. My steamed broccoli, by the it's way. so good. It's our uh, health night over here. The broccoli was the best part of the, of the dish steamed broccoli. and easy even slightly undercooked broccoli but still better than the meatloaf uh, it felt to me like it was uh had been sitting in a pan in the fridge for a couple of days it felt like it could have been a frozen processed meatloaf i don't believe that it was no. i feel like I, I believe that they make their own meatloaf but you, you, of course you can't expect to, to get meatloaf cooked to order definitely you know? that would be weird. no that'd be weird and it'd be a really long wait <laughs> But um, I felt it's like it. Be, uh, uh, about 55. Yeah, an hour it'll be about an hour and 10 minutes, sir. If you got some time, would you like an appetizer <laughs> um, or two? It, it felt, it, it, but it, it didn't feel fresh at all to me. It's funny when I see fresh ground beef, it didn't feel fresh at all. It was, and it was just, was over. I mean, you know, you know that I have a sensitivity to sodium, and I felt like this was, uh, I was seeing my life flash before my eyes. <laughs> Well, I was eating the sodium bomb of a meatloaf uh, with a weird sauce that felt, I don't know, like it was overcooked or something and, and yeah, it was, it was being like made. Thick. It was thick and weird and tangy and I didn't finish the dish for several reasons, but uh, one of them being I just didn't enjoy it. Well, don't tell Marat, but, but you know, I tried your meatloaf. That's right, you did. <laughs> and honestly... Here's my vibe. Okay. Old school lunch. Sure. Like cafeteria. Yeah. Cafeteria meatloaf. It, it tasted to me like like onion soup mix. Yes, for sure. Which, That's... Listen, at home, onion soup mix is like a way to spice up your home meatloaf. It tasted like that. It, it tasted did. very yeah. like <sighs> like basic meatloaf. I will tell you with 100% certainty that I will never order that dish again. You, it's ruined you for me. If ever, for life, well, no, or just no, just just <laughs> at. I mean, I probably won't eat the golden goose again. But oh, okay. if I did, I I'm certainly say, not having. I was the like, are you so turned off to meatloaf now? It's over. That Sorry, it's meatloaf. Just done. We had such a good it's, run, it's but it's over, over it's now. It's over. Jen. Yeah. You had the pollo nirvana. I did, and you made fun of me. Which I did because you called it the pollo nirvana. That's I did, true. Because yeah. I was doing like a basic white girl move there. It's okay. I think we used it as a, as a good positive uh, learning opportunity. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being a good friend. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm here for. And helping. It's me. what I'm here for. So you, are you going to read me? I'm going to read you. Yeah, so the description of that. My actual experience. <laughs> Saute chicken. Stuffed Did with you prosciutto. Did salty chicken? No. No, I said saute. But, oh, I'm sorry. But I know why you might you have said, heard that. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Saute, saute chicken. chicken. Uh, stuffed with prosciutto, uh, fontina, and topped with a heavenly mushroom sauce. Would you say that was your experience? Well, first of all, did you say stuffed with? Right, yeah, I don't remember that. <laughs> okay. Do you remember that? Being stuffed with anything? It was definitely not stuffed with anything. Did you say, what, what was the word with the heavenly? Heavenly, heavenly but mushroom was sauce. Was it topped oh, with? Oh, topped. Topped. Um... I'm going to start there. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take umbrage with the word topped, and I'm going to say it was drowning and begging to be saved from a vat of sauce. Drowning is, is, it was a, is drowning. a perfect... I was kind of, you know, like digging for it, like trying to pull it out. 
It was uh, it was really it was a lot of sauce. It was a lot of sauce. It was, it was almost a like a, a soup. <laughs> it was a soup. It was a it was a shocking amount of sauce. And you'd gotten the au gratin potatoes with it, which was also just kind of swimming around in this pool of well, they had like heavenly a, mushroom they sauce. Were bathed in cheese. Mm. Swimming in sauce. That was actually my favorite thing. I know. Just it was. for the record, it was. those au gratin potatoes were but, um, delicious. There it was definitely not stuffed with anything. No. It was a couple of little chicken fillet. Sure, yeah. Pounded out chicken, yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, just with like a couple of little slices of brujut and heavenly mushrooms. Sauce. I mean, in retrospect, to be honest with you, I probably would have rated the dish slightly better not hearing. The, the description, description. yeah, yeah, because it was it was not it was not good, right? But it's terrible compared to if I sure. ordered that and I was thinking like I'm gonna get like a chicken breast, it's gonna be like rolled with sure. fontina cheese. That sounds awesome, right? Yeah, yeah. And prosciutto, like I love that. That's actually why I ordered it yeah. over the marsala. Right, right. And, and then, that's not at all what it was. That's not no. no. It was just a couple of little pieces of chicken that you literally barely saw because it was, it was little, submerged, submerged in sauce. Yeah. I'm, this is not to- No, is, no, We're, we'll, we'll include pictures. Yes, good, because <laughs> holy cow. Yeah, it was, um, it was an incredible amount of sauce. And, um, and it was still better than my meatloaf. It kind of was, mm -hmm. honestly. Mm -hmm. In retrospect, I'm not saying. Yeah, no, I would- uh, But I wonder what else someone could have gotten there. Jesse, looking good, looking good, yeah. nice hat. Yeah, hey, I know a lot of things about beer and wine and stuff, yeah. 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 Jesse, if, <laughs> if one didn't have the meatloaf at the Golden Goose, yes. what else would they have had, maybe? Well, if they were a different person, let's say they were a sharp-dressed man oh. like myself, a Mr. Marate, from uh, oh. Italia or somewhere, whatever. Brooklyn. Oh. It's not the same. <laughs> Even you Brooklynites know it's not Italy. No, it's nobody, okay. nobody said but that. Everybody yeah, to my paisans out there, Sheeps of Bay, eh? Much love. Eh? Go ahead. Okay. So what else could you have had if you... I'm not you actually know? Italian with a name like Marat, by the way. But by osmosis, so you guys know what I'm Italian talking about. Go Marats ahead. Out there. Oh my God, yeah. All right. So do you want to read to me what I ordered? I would love to. All right. Awesome. You had the smokehouse bacon cheeseburger smokehouse bacon cheeseburger now, that is correct and then smokehouse cheeseburger pretty basic half pound certified angus beef burger topped with smoked gouda applewood smoked bacon barbecue mm. sauce and fried onion straws that sounds amazing doesn't it oh my god i totally would have uh, ordered that me too i did order that and they must have given me something else <laughs> Just very quickly, I think I, we all tried each other's dishes, and I think mine was probably the best one out of the three. So, and actually, I was going to get the chicken marsala as well, but I was like, nah, I'm going to take one for the team and have the burger. Boy, did I get lucky. Burger, supposed to be medium rare, was well over. Um, the bun was nice. The, the lettuce was fresh. Um, there was no flavor. It was overcooked. The, uh, I also ordered the onion rings. I upgraded paid two extra dollars what it's fine i paid two bucks for the onion rings and the onion rings were so full of grease that at one point i think i have this video my hand was dripping in the grease from these onion rings okay i had one of your onion rings yeah actually you were nice enough before you tasted them, yes i was I like a good my, husband thank you he gave me two of what looked like the best onion rings I from his plate before you. he had tasted them. So he just lovingly picked out two beautiful, shiny onion rings I as did. a gift. Because I love you. He's so sweet. Thank you. And um, yeah, I, um, well, I squeezed them out. I wrung them out <laughs> to start. <laughs> and they were just weirdly sweet. They tasted to me like when you go to a fair, or a carnival and you get that fried dough yeah you know and it's super greasy but it's kind of also delicious because it's like sweet and mm -hmm. doughy yeah that's what it tastes like which but it when i'm at a carnival looking that good. for fried dough yeah that's what i'm looking for yeah when i'm at a restaurant looking for an onion ring that's not what i'm expecting so that i mean was a you had you had a better experience than i did 
with those onion rings. Yeah, you didn't taste at all what I'm talking about. No. You were like, I don't know what No, you might have had one that accidentally touched something that was supposed <laughs> to taste good and stuck to it. Not, not your favorite dish ever. No. We've all described how satisfied we were with all our dishes. I guess the one thing we need to do is say, well, if you enjoy that so much, you should also have dessert. Because, you know. Why stop at, at that At this point, if you ever, by the way, at this point, if you ever wonder like, hey, what do you guys do this for? We, we do it for you. Honestly, because after having that appetizer and that entree, to then go ahead and order a dessert, you have to understand the commitment that we have to give you hard-hitting information. Hard-hitting. Anyway, all right, it's time for me to go. It's time for Jesse. Lead singer of Slipknot, Corey Taylor. Hey, kids, <laughs> brush your teeth. <laughs> Jesse. Jen. You know what I want to talk to you about now? Is it dessert? I do want to talk to you about dessert at Golden Goose because honestly, <laughs> this is going to get cut, but it's not like a blowjob that like even a bad dessert is a good dessert. <laughs> even at a not great restaurant, the dessert, I, dessert is so pretty hard to screw up. It, well, I've had some bad stuff, but okay. The Italian lemon cake is what we had. We had. They did um, come out. The nice woman the that nice was serving server, yeah. us came out with a whole tray of their sure. options, which is very old school. You don't yeah, see that. Yeah, gave us a nice little brief description of everything, and yeah. uh, and I think we all agreed. We uh, without even talking about it that the Italian lemon cake was uh, was, was, the some, was the best bet. Was the best bet. What did you think of it? I thought it wasn't bad. It was okay. I, I felt like Wait, the cake let me portion. Read you the description. Oh sure, let's read the description. Oh. Is it on there? <laughs> Italian lemon cake. That's the description. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, I had a, a, just a normal coffee. Uh, Marat had an Italian coffee, which is on there, right? What it is, is? It is, but I'll. You we'll had the Mexican coffee. Because it's very Marat. Oh, he wants to talk it's about it. It's very fancy. Yeah. You know, I had the Mexican coffee. Um, one of the benefits of the Mexican coffee is it had two different types of liquor. So what uh, I'm looking for in my yeah, dessert. Right? <laughs> it's the real dessert. Yeah, if you guys are following, you've been watching my desserts, usually it's a dessert wine, a dessert uh, liqueur yeah. trio. Yeah. Um, I'm looking for that in dessert. Well, yeah, yeah we're, so. we're, we're closing strong. Yeah, I like to close strong. So it's coffee, Kahlua, tequila, and whipped cream. Sure. I'm reading my own yeah. description. The tequila to me, I, when I tried it, was it seemed like a cheap tequila. I wasn't. A, I didn't a think it was going to be an expensive tequila. No, and but based it, on it, just like my entire experience, with like one. a cheap tequila. It wasn't. I didn't. I didn't enjoy your Mexican coffee at all. I thought it was pretty terrible. Thank you. Uh, and and maybe that's just Mexican coffees in general for me. I don't want to say that is necessarily the Golden Goose's fault. I think it's just a dumb idea. <laughs> it's like let's throw tequila and coffee and call it Mexican. You know what I mean? I like come you. on. I know. Uh, but. Uh, Kind what did you think of it? Pandering there a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you know. What did you think of it? I didn't mind it. Yeah, you liked it okay. I have some um I have some old school vibes with Kahlua. Sure, sure. So I like Kahlua. I like, Kahlua. I like Kahlua and coffee, you just leave that tequila out. Yeah. I, it didn't bother me. Or was, a better tequila. Okay. All right, Golden Goose, are you watching? Golden Goose. Use a better, better tequila. tequila. But <laughs> I think the bougiest of the coffee drinks was the Italian. Italian coffee. Yeah. Who would have? But who would have ordered that? Have to me, it felt that. ridiculous ordering an Italian cocktail coffee thing there, but... Especially when you're so mad about the Italian risotto balls. Right. You so know, I don't think know you anybody would have who would have then, like but, uh, ordered something Italian there. But I don't know. You yeah, never know. know. You, you never know, know who's going to yeah. show up and order something ridiculously Italian in a very not Italian <laughs> Southwest American <laughs> Sedona spot. Hey, it is me here. Marat, what's an Italian name, eh? Drinking Italian coffee. You know, sometimes I lay in bed at night and I think of Different ways names. to kill me. Oh. Well, that too. But like sexy Italian men's names. Hmm. And often the name Marat is pretty high up on that list of sexy Italian men's names. Men's names. Men's names. Men's names. So, um... So thank you for... <laughs> uh, just want to straight that. You, you lay in bed and think about sexy Italian men's names. Sure. Okay. That's what I was saying. Uh, and Murat, That's what I thought. I was getting clarification. And Murat is always top of the sexy Italian men's names. 
Let me read you. Yes, what please read me. What the Italian coffee is at the Golden Goose Ooh. American Grill. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we all uh, forgot you... that it's called the Golden Goose American Grill. Hey, if you're going to put it on the menu and you're going to say it's Italian, you got to deliver. I don't care where it is. Well, then don't put it on there. Italian coffee was just coffee, amaretto, and whipped cream. Can't screw that up, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was delicious. I loved it. It was the best part of my meal. Oh, there we go. It was great. I would pop in there, have an Italian coffee. <laughs> Yeah, of maybe, you would. maybe on your little, Vespa. Maybe on like a yeah, my Vespa. <laughs> <laughs> you would roll in uh, your for, baby yeah. blue Vespa. Exactly. So you're gonna say it was a success, right? Yeah, I mean overall my coffee was okay. What did you think of the Italian lemon cake? But it was a nice lemon cake. I was nice like Italian. A butt cake. Bunt. <laughs> okay, we didn't. I kind of does bunt? actually. Why don't? Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look a like a butt cake. A little when you think about a bunt cake. Kind of like shaped like a nice butt, wow. like a peachy dessert. That's going in the private select collection. <laughs> it's going on the Patreon. Thanks for the Patreon. All my bad ideas, yeah. right to Patreon. Um, so for this Golden Goose, what are your overall impressions, Jen? Did the Golden Goose lay a golden egg? It laid an egg for sure. It laid an egg. It definitely laid an egg. I feel like a lot of the dishes are very old school, like heavily sauce cream sauce like you know yeah. there's like a certain like older menu vibe there mm -hmm. and if you're looking at the price point it's pretty inexpensive for a restaurant in Sedona that's true I think the rents in Sedona are probably astronomical so that's why the restaurants have to be so expensive um, but this restaurant in particular like your entrees are you know 24 to 32 dollars you know give or take and it it has like an old school vibe like a meatloaf on a menu right you don't see that every day so i think that's what they're catering to god rest his soul meatloaf i love meatloaf i think that it was very like old school throwback just going back to the vibe mm. you know it was just like going yeah. to your like aunt's house like the decorations the things on the wall it just felt like a comfy old situation it was all like very old school. If everybody starts taking a shot every time I say old school, everybody would be drunk by totally. now. Totally. I would not put this on my high list of things to see. If I'm coming to Sedona and I have like, what, three nights here to have dinners, this is probably going to be on my list if I can't get a reservation anywhere else or I'm trying to save money. So those are my thoughts. Marat, what did you think about it? Most of the clientele there, is, as you pointed out, was a little bit on the older side. Uh, which is fine you know they were busy right at like that 5 30 6 o'clock hour and that's, we should mention yeah the the restaurant closes at eight yeah and the height of the action there was between 6 15 and 8 o'clock yeah so yeah. that just yeah if that puts in your mind any it's definitely specific, yeah it's definitely an older clientele demographic. you know and, a, and that kind of demographic usually you know has to watch their diet and make sure they have low sodium like our friend uh jesse and um fail I feel like I feel like they might be accidentally killing their clientele. <laughs> they might be killing giving their them target lots of sodium. Well, I mean, I'm not saying anybody actually has died because of the sodium level there. We would never say that. No, I would never we say would that. Never say There's that. no proof of that ever. So I'm not Definitely saying not. that at all. No. But what I'm saying is that that might be kind of high because, like, my mom is in that age group, and she has like she has to watch her sodium. Whoa. You know, and you know, so does my friend Jesse. And um, <laughs> I would never take one or the other to this place because of the amount of salt and the fact that we text Jesse a couple of times during the day to make sure he was okay. So I feel like all those sweet, sweet mama bears out there with their younger men that just drag them out to the Golden Goose for a good time. Can we talk about that or no? danger. Can we talk about that? Not stranger danger, sodium danger. Can we talk about that we saw? I was trying to ignore it, but go ahead, please. Come Let's on. talk about some of the wonderful things you get to see in the town of Sedona. So Sedona is super expensive to live in. And um, so you'll see some like, well off some very you know no when, super well off you know people. people that have done well in their lives and god bless them you know yeah, very well off sure. and you know they're they're you know in the certain age range and then you see mostly older women which is good for you 
good for you, that. you know. Yeah. With these like guys that are like gurus, like holistic, like they could have been shamans, like if they don't have shamans, you know, it would be amazing because it's you and I, but Jesse was also there. And after we had to perform some life saving water injections. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you inject water into Jesse? But you were upset that I ate his meatloaf. Because you're, you're giving Jesse liquid injections, and it's upsetting that I ate meatloaf. Maybe Jesse should tell us about his overall thoughts one more time. It's like every time I turn around, I have a different experience. Well, how about I tell you what I thought Please of do. the Golden Goose? Uh, I thought American that uh, the, the Golden Goose American Grill. I thought that the vibe was fine, pretty generic Sedona, as far as the decor. The service was, I thought, was really nice. Uh, everybody was very attentive. Um, um, cocktail list was okay. Cocktails were fine. Wine list was boring. Beer list boring, uh, but fine for somebody, I'm sure. Uh, the food was mostly. Uh, unforgettable but not in the right kind of way i didn't really didn't care for a lot of it i did very much enjoy marat's or i'm sorry i did kind of enjoy <laughs> marat's burger i very much enjoyed jen's potatoes oh you did uh, crush my potatoes those potatoes were so good it was okay I, I i just to kind of retouch on the point that they both made it is sort of the place where the older community looking for a nice value meal probably locals um uh, go to eat um, yeah. If you're in town and you want to try some of the best that Sedona has to offer, I would 100% skip the Golden Goose. For sure. If you want something inexpensive, I feel like there's better options. Um, for sure. In time, we will be providing you with those. Uh, I know that I, looking for a value meal, will skip that every single time. Yeah. So I wouldn't recommend it um, ever. So, Jen, uh, are there any hikes that you think of that would pair well with the Golden Goose? Yeah, to bed. To bed, to the to the water store. <laughs> um, the water store. If you don't live here, that's going to seem weird. But if you ever come to Arizona and decide to stay a while, you'll know what a water so store funny. is, and you'll come to appreciate it. But yeah, no, you can't hike after this because you're so bloated. Your fingertips are massive, and your toes and your all, all your limbs are just you're like this. It's. I know I was. You're yeah. like I hiked hey, right kids, to the couch and laid down. Brush your teeth. Brush. Brush your, brush your. <laughs> no hikes. No hikes. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to smash that like button. Uh, subscribe if you want to see what we're doing in the future. And of course, there's always the notification bell if you'd like to always be notified when we put new videos out. Obviously, in the comment section, if there's something that you're curious about, Tell us something you would like know. to see, where you'd like us to go, uh, we'll maybe make a video. And also, if you've been to the Golden Goose, what did you think? Let us know. Thanks so much, guys.